Okay, for this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a uh, peacock feather. And what you'll need are three different size leaf cutters in different, a big, a medium and a small. Some water, a rolling pin, some corn flour or icing sugar and your um, and your icing. I'm using a blue, a holly green and a, a purple. Um, obviously you can use different colours if you so wish. So first of all we're going to start with the big cutter. So what we do is we just I'll just take, take this out of the clean fill. And I'm using holly green for this. Just gently roll and knead your icing so it's more pliable. Then take a little bit of the corn flour, roll it onto our brush it onto our side with your rolling pin you just want to roll the icing out you don't want it too thick but then again you don't want it too thick trying to keep the icing all the same just turn it, same size and thickness, just turn it around every time you roll. And that way you should get an even, an even thickness of icing. Okay, now we've got our green all rolled out. We're going to take the largest leaf cutter. And we're just going to press in, move our ice into the side, lift up our leaf, and there we have the leaf for the green part of our feather. So now I'm going to take the blue. And again, I'm just going to quickly knead it to make it a little bit more pliable. And again with our corn flour, I'm just going to rub it on the work surface and a little bit on the icing. And again, roll. icing sticks to your work surface you can add some more corn flour or you can use an iced rolling mat as well I don't have one of them at this precise moment in time so there we have our blue we take our medium size cutter and we just Again, the same as we did with the green, we just cut, moving that to the side. And then with some water, all we do is we just paint the water on the back of the blue leaf. And then we carefully put the blue onto the green, like so. And there you can see it's starting to take shape. And then with our purple, we do the same. So need first. A bit of corn flour. 
and on the icing as well. Take our rolling pin, make sure it's clean, and then roll. And again, making sure we have the same thickness. And now, with the smallest leaf cutter, we just want to press down, pop it out of the cutter. If you have any untidy bits, just tidy it up. Take our brush again, and we do the same thing with the purple one. Paint the water on the back. I would use water for this, not edible glue, um, because it's the water's not going to run. So again, just place it on the top and we have a peacock feather. Now to give the peacock feather a little bit of definition, take a plastic knife, you can use any knife really, I've just got a, one of these little ones here, and on the blue side you just want to... If I show you this way, you just want to just make little indentations all the way around. And I find it easier to do this actually on the work surface. And then if you can't see very well, I'll show you in a minute what I've done. And again, you can do it on the green as well, on the parts that you can actually see of the green. You don't want to press too hard, you just want to give it a little bit of a definition and a little bit of a feather-like edge. And as you can see, we have a feathery like edge. So I'll show you it one more time. I'll show you it again. So because I've already rolled out the icing, so we take our green again, big cutter, cut in. Take our blue icing, cut in, stick with some water the blue to the green, like so. And now with our purple and small cutter, again, we do the same process, purple back paint with water, and then we pop it on to our leaf, taking our knife, we just want to give it a little bit of definition, I actually made these for a friend's wedding because they wanted a peacock cake um, and the amount of comments I got was amazing just for the peacock feathers alone. So 
So as I continue to, you can as well buy some edible glitter. Um, and you can glitter each individual one as well, which I did on the wedding cake. So there you have it as well, our peacock feather. Now I'm going to carry on making a few more, um, just to show you how stunning they can really look. Okay, so as you can see, now I've finished the feathers. Um, and what I've done is I've just um, put them in an arrangement just so you can see the effect of the feathers. Um, like I said, um, I made these feathers for a wedding cake.